Well, I don't know if you guys have uh, seen a video of a girl who asks her parent to get her an iPhone 8. iPhone 8, so of course, you know, iPhone 8 is an iPhone that is outdated. Now we are currently at iPhone 15 Pro Max, and me, I'm currently using iPhone 14 Pro Max. So there is this girl who decided to film the incident between herself and her parent. She was asking for an iPhone 8. Well, you trust Africa, Nigeria parent. They immediately turned the thing upside down. Made all sorts of allegations, allegations against the girl that the girl is serious. She should be fine, uh, looking for how to pass that exam or do this. Of course, now you know our parents generally do. You know, uh, she posted a video on TikTok. And you know, TikTok nowadays is something that... TikTok nowadays is something that you can just post anything and it's going to go viral. So this video, particular video went viral. And uh, a lot of people are having mixed reaction to it. Our Nigeria celebrities are also into it giving their own uh, personal ideas and everything. And me, that's why I said, you know what, okay, I've seen a lot of uh, comments supporting the girl and not supporting the girl. And uh, I think I myself I have, the, I have the right to also uh, agree or disagree. So that's why I'm about to share it, share the video with you. And uh, so you guys can uh, watch it alongside with me. And then we're going to have a general discussion after we are done watching the video. So, check it out, guys. Kiki Ski. There is nothing like this life that pointed to the fact that my future is secure in your hand. I have not seen that thing. I have not seen it, sir. I don't deceive myself. Anybody else can deceive himself or herself. I don't deceive myself. I will talk to you. My future, I, I don't know the way to deal with you. I tell you, Pastor, what's the beer I got it from? Those that have admitted to study medicine in their life, in their life they, don't, they, don't, they don't ask for. Those that have admitted to study medicine in their life, they don't, they don't ask for. I not a doctor, so they don't even get admission to study with them. Those that get admission on platter of gold. They will never ask for iPhone because they have future. They have aim for their life. That what matters to them is their education. Get a visa, go get a school, learn to some school, come out, 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 more than corruption is herself. She knows what she does on phone. She knows what she does with her body. So it's not a matter of I'm seeing somebody with a boyfriend. But that is already what you want. So, so if they give you that money or any money for anything, why the only thing you wish to achieve is a child phone. I like you will not sell somebody's property to achieve my if I don't buy it for you, don't have any discussion. Come back to an outfit now so that you get to answer. Somebody will have somebody who has not got admission. Somebody who doesn't know where they will get money. Even if you get admission, you don't even know. You don't even think I'm there. They will see money too. What do you think? You don't say what I want for my birthday gift is that daddy, you get to save money for my admission. I think that we lost money for it. You saw a boy that wrote white seven times, down three times. Never, you never see phone in his life. He came out with phone. Now, if you have phone in your hand, you need another phone. So what you need is an iPhone. I mean, a man self can even live with an iPhone because that is your priority. That is your life. So you think I'll be so foolish or so dark? On my head, you not correct. I don't know what to do with money. I would. Well, guys, I think I've had enough. Let me kindly give my own review. Well, I will do justice to this because uh, uh, because of my exposure and uh, many years of uh, of uh, experiencing such 
incident and also having a very strict father as well, I will give my honest opinion. Mm -hmm. My honest opinion. You know, um, firstly, I noticed that the father said that he doesn't think his, fu his future is secured in our hands. <laughs> Father said, he doesn't think his future is secured in our hands. You know, African parents, they take care of their children so that a day will come, the kids will also take care of them as well. That is how parents are supposed to have. That is the mentality parents are supposed to have, whether you like it or not. Kids are meant to take care of their parents if they get old. It's a form of barrica. It's a form of blessings to children as well. So it's encouraged for children to do so. You know? And also, that her birthday was coming, and she decided to ask for an iPhone for her birthday. And she wasn't overzealous. She asked for an iPhone 8 and a dated iPhone. Okay, good and fine. And at the same time, she was looking for an admission to study men's The admission, you know, getting admission in Nigeria, it has to do with money. It has to do with money. Well, she wasn't concerned about the admission, but she was concerned about an iPhone. Okay, guys. Uh, so, persons are saying the parents were too harsh on her. That they shouldn't have used all sorts of words, thinking that she's going to use the phone to do what every most of girls use the phone to do online. To chat and all those kind of stuff. See? Our parents do see us. If you think your parents do not see you, it's a lie. It depends on the kind of attitude or the kind of behavior that you have been trending on in your environment. That would make them be like, you know what, okay, this girl has this source of brain. Let us get at this thing. If this girl was an IT girl, you know, an IT girl that always like to be on phone and uh, do some really, really good time, you know, do some really good work with her phone that she was using pre previously and her parents can see that she was actually doing something not just posting pictures and doing all those rubbish things online like gaining some kind of uh, exposure her parents will get her that phone without even thinking twice her parents will get her that phone mm -hmm. her parents will wear it harsh at all if it were some African parents, before they say iPhone, if they get on correct, correct slap. <laughs> Call, correct slap. But they stick for admission for you. I don't know you want to get the money. You are asking for an iPhone 8. In fact, you should even uh, come to me and say, oh, daddy, uh, daddy, I want my birthday gift to be my admission to the school. Uh, hey, that will switch your father's mind again. In fact, if that girl is serious, she would have meet her mom first to ask for an iPhone and say, Mommy, I don't know. I need an iPhone from that. Your mommy be like, okay, you know what? This is how you should go about it. This is how, uh, okay, this is how, firstly, say this to your daddy eh, to get uh, your admission for your birthday. Then I'll know how to maneuver you to get you an iPhone as soon as, soon as you get your admission to your birthday. But this kind of girl shows you that she's a rebellion. She's not close to her mom. Because her mom should have nurtured her and the, uh, 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 teach her a way to get an iPhone from her own father, even without even asking. You know? Well, her parents were very harsh. She was even extremely lucky. Now, let's check some uh, comments coming from uh, some uh, Nigeria celebrity who, of course, you know now, they must talk. Some people who have never given birth to kids before we talk. Firstly, let's, talk, let's start with uh, DJ Switch, who said, Just watch a video of a girl that asks for iPhone and proceed to record her parents' response. Mm, I can hear concern and pain from her parents, but her continence and action say it all. Hearing that she is yet to gain admission, but is more interested in iPhone, iPhone 8 for that matter, I think she should have gone ahead to all her parents at gunpoint and asked for an iPhone 15 Pro Max. Then I will know she's serious. 
I've been saying this for a while now. I'm truly worried about our new generation of kids with all that we do online, all the crap we praise, all the attention we give. We give to BBL and other set of fakeness that has set the stage for this type of crap we see from our younger ones. A world was enough for the wise, but the wise don't scarce. Yes, so. Then someone also said, if what I am about to say annoys you, use your block button. The parents were too harsh on her and were not supposed to say all these things they say to her. They need to learn better parenting style. They should just know, they just, just know to, to, to our request. They should just say no to our request and keep it moving. From a parent's POV, it's annoying to have a child whose priority aren't aligned. Judging from what has been said, it seems the girl hasn't been on her best behavior. You don't know the child more than the parents. That's both parents are involved in the point to that. The girl is here to get at, at, at admission and has the uh, function and has a functional form. And at her age, she should be able to understand her parents' economy realities and how best to approach her parents. We also cannot say that we also cannot say they are not buying her that phone because they can't afford it. Lastly, a child who can record a private conversation with her parents and post it online for reason best known to her is not a saint and definitely knows what she's doing. In the end, the whole family is mad. Too many things didn't have to be said, and this video shouldn't be in public domain. Exactly what I said. Exactly what I said. The child is a rebellion. If she's not a rebellion, she should have planned with her own mom. Recording your parents and posting it online. Abba. Ah. Then uh, this guy said, to all the people blaming her parents, life, time eventually humbles all of us. You go so burn your own. Then when the Olodo that cannot pass Waek asks for iPhone 8, you buy her iPhone 23 Pro Max. The only place I even fought her parents is getting her a phone at all when she hasn't even gained admission into the university. Now because say she see phone at all, now why she did record private conversation? Exactly. Because say she see phone at all, that's why she did record her. People are saying, oh, the, child, the parents didn't do well. The child, come on, recording a private conversation? My child recording my private conversation of me trying to discipline her, trying to talk to her and educate her. This will tell that that child will never hear. If there's no how you're going to say, she's just laughing at you saying, forget those ones, what did they talk? You see, protect your children from this online content these celebrities are posting, uh, influencers are posting. People are posting out there. Protect them. Protect them. These, these kids. This internet uh, is one of the greatest tools that uh, has ever happened to humanity and one of the worst tools that also happened to humanity. Internet. Well, let's uh, go further, guys. Uh, this one is coming from Tatcha. <laughs> Touch a collect. So I said, anybody that has something wrong with what the parents said, something is legit wrong with you. For this child to record their conversation, she actually knows what she is doing. But I know some waste men will stay by her that iPhone. Then a uh, lady responded, said. If you had loving parents, you would not tattoo the videos on your breast at 19. You were twerking on IG for hand out and her age at her age. Talk another thing. <laughs> but Tasha has repented now. You know, repenting and they're also wearing that kind of outfit to meet the commissioner of police. 
you know, everybody will collect. Mm. Thatcher was also, uh, maybe Thatcher had a very rough childhood, you know, she was the one providing for herself. You know, you won't blame her. But a child who has a very, very caring parents who are struggling to provide for her or for him don't have the infantry to go home. That child do not have that infantry. That she shouldn't have that mentality to say, "Oh, I'm going to go sideways." If it's to see, that's why I said parents are watching. If that girl was a very intellectual uh, person uh, on computer base or very very intellectual, like general studies, there is nothing that girl will ask for that his parents won't give to her, even if she hasn't got admission yet. There are some children, kids like that, their parents know this child is brilliant, really, really good and hardworking, studying, but that, parent, that child hasn't gotten an admission. Even if that child asks for anything, they will still give to her because they know the material. They know that child is trying. Who don't want to reward a child who makes his parents happy? Ah! If you make me happy as a child, I'm going to reward you abundantly if I have the money. If I don't have the money, I will look for so that we encourage you, encourage you. And I will tell you, this is the reason why I'm getting you this thing, because you are hardworking. The day you stop being hardworking, I will get you again. So that the, guy, the child will put more effort. And this is exactly what we are saying about parents. Please, eh? as a parent, eh? if you are a celebrity, you have big money. All those kind of things, please. Uh, you have also the responsibility to safeguard other people's parents, uh, other people's parents, and other people's children. If you can afford the iPhone 250 Pro Max, an iPhone 250 Pro Max in the nearest future, or if I, I afford an iPhone 15 for your child, please do not post it online. Please don't post it online. We know. But have that consciousness that people out there do not have money to get their kids that iPhone 15 Pro Max. And as soon as you post it, other kids will see it and be like, oh, this is what my father should be doing for me. This is what my mom should be doing for me. But they are not doing it. Look at you. Uh, look at this man's parent, uh, this, uh, this guy's parents buying him or her an iPhone 15 Pro Max. I know people will say, oh, safeguard your child, I can do whatever I want online. Huh? Please, I'm begging you, if you can afford everything for your kids, don't post it online. Do it for them. Do it for them. Do it for them well. But don't post it online for the world to see so that you won't be corrupting other people's children. Please, don't do it. At least, if that's the only if that's the least thing you can do, like okay, what will it what will it favor you by posting it online? Showing the world that you can get this for your child, get this for your child. Nothing, not to favor you anything. Instead bragging. Please. I'm begging you. 